G'day everyone, I thought I'd have a discussion about the uh, dual cards fiasco that's basically going around the uh, internet at the moment with the Nikon Z camera releases. And I thought I'd talk to you about it from my perspective. Um, and I know there's a number of people that have put out reviews, uh, one particular who I'm not gonna mention their name, but they did put out saying that they didn't believe that the card slots were that big an issue. Well, I wanted to talk about it from my perspective as a full-time working photographer uh, with a very successful studio and how it has changed my thinking completely due to what happened to me. But let me explain first about how I used to think. Now, when Sony brought the original A7R out and things like that, uh, this is the A7R, um, I did fully believe that there was no issue with using one card. Now, I came from Nikon and I was shooting the D4S, the D810 at the time, and I think it was a D700 I had. Um, but those cards like the D4S had the dual card slots in them. And it, it it was a good thing and I, I, when I went over to Sony I thought well look I'd never had a card fail and it was never an issue and I was one of the people that was supporting this the whole time saying I've never had a card fail, uh, it, it is totally overblown, uh, things like that and I really was basically protecting how Sony were thinking with their, with their cards due to the fact that I never had a card that failed so I did believe that was the case but was I silly? No, I wasn't. Like, and because a lot of my work is, is shooting weddings, uh, events, um, model portfolios, things like that, I always carried around something like this. So basically you'd put your card into the side, fire it up, and this would do an incremental backup as you were going along. And it sort of give, did give me peace of mind. But having said that, it was always in the back of my mind that what if a, a, a card did fail, um, and you know, and I missed something like the first kiss or something that I could never replace. So it was always in the back of my mind. Yes, I could do incremental backups, um, but that would not save me if a card failed in between then, uh, and I wouldn't lose those backups. Now, I always had a second shooter shooting, so I did cover myself in that respect, but it still was always in my mind. And I did believe that because I never had a, a card that had failed, uh, I, I was always okay with it, and I protected Sony the whole time. The, the interesting thing was that we got bagged so much by uh, other users of Canon and Nikon saying that you know Sony was never going to be taken seriously due to the fact that they only had this one card. Uh, here was I basically saying that was rubbish, I'd never had a card that failed, uh, therefore basically you were all thinking uh, incorrectly. Well, I have changed my mind and it's not just because Sony released cameras now with dual card slots. The interesting thing was I was shooting a dance recital. It was a dance concert. This thing could not be redone. I was paid to actually shoot it. Um, I shot it with my A9. Uh, and the interesting thing was I had a card that actually failed on me. And the, the problem was that you could not tell that this card had failed because it had marks that were going across the whole image itself. When I was reviewing the images, everything seemed to be okay. It seemed to be fine. When I got back onto my computer at home, uh, I noticed that the, the images were completely unusable. I couldn't save them. They were that corrupted that I could not save them. Uh, they didn't show on the preview because obviously that's just using the JPEG header, but it was the raw files were actually corrupt uh, on the card. Now, I didn't know that, but the thing that saved me in this uh, situation was that I do shoot raw on one card and JPEG on the other card, the second card. I could use the JPEG cards, uh, files that I had, and that saved me from having that whole shoot be useless, having me to say to the client, yes, that, that is no good. Uh, I, I can't give you the images. The, the whole concert could not be repeated, so I would have been basically screwed. Now, my contract does state that I'm covered for hardware failure, but how does that help a bride if you have to go to a bride to say to her, uh, I'm sorry, my card corrupted. I haven't got your um, formal shots of your day. I haven't got you doing the first kiss. I haven't got your wedding ceremony. How does that save you? It covers you in case of financial loss, but it certainly doesn't save you from being slammed by that uh, bride on, on media, on social media, disappointing that client, uh, then not getting any referrals from that client and things like that. This is why I changed my mind and thinking after it happened to me. I was blasé before this actually happened and I was thinking, look, it's never happened to me before and it never had. But the more and more people that are contacting me saying that, you know, that, that they're having cards corrupted because they don't have this dual card slot system uh, here, 
Uh, I'm getting that many people say that they have had them fail, including some people that have told me that they've had QXD fails as well. So it is an issue out there, guys. Don't also forget that, and I never really considered this either, what if the slot fails in your camera? And that could be another issue that you, you basically don't know. You try to put the card in and then the, the slot actually fails. I've heard of, of reports of the actual card failing in itself by falling apart. They're, they're issues as, as well. What if you lose a card? At least you have that second backup. I think it was Mark said to me this morning on uh, one of the comments in one of the videos I put on YouTube that when you get into the car, you always put your seatbelt on. Well, that seatbelt, you may not have had an accident for 20 years, but you still put that seatbelt on because it's safer and it may protect you if you have an accident. This is why I'm saying to people, and I truly believe this now, that you should not be using a single card slot uh, for a paid job and it's changed my total thinking because of what happened to me and I have completely swung from where I was thinking before to where I am now and it's interesting that everyone bagged Sony initially for what how they only produced a one uh, card slot and I was protecting it and yet now that it's on the other foot they're now saying that you don't need the dual uh, card slots and I think that's not correct I think for any paying job you should really do it because you owe your client a service you owe your client the ability to get those files if you can't repeat that job. Yes, if it if you're doing something where it's in studio and you can just reshoot it, it doesn't matter so much. But there's not that much work out there. More there's more work in events, doing model portfolios, shooting portraits, shooting baby shots. Those things just can't be replaced by by just basically shooting them again. And that shouldn't be the way you're thinking. So I think Nikon has completely missed the mark here. Uh, I really think that they would have seen what happened to Sony and the and the abuse that Sony copped, and they shouldn't have held back that trying to force you to get into the uh, to also buy something like the D850s. And I think it really is the wrong mark. And I hope Canon are listening to this, and I hope that they also don't hold back and they put dual card slots in their cameras. I think it's a shame, but I do think it's something that Nikon should have learned from. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts about this as well. Uh, let me know down below what you think about it. Um, but that's basically all for now. I'm just saying from my perspective as a fully working photographer, I will never shoot a game with just single card slots. I do take this camera, the A7R, to weddings and things like that, and I occasionally use it. But at the same time now, it's always in my mind, and I will still take a shot at the same time with my A9 or the A7 III to make sure I have a backup of that image just in case if this card corrupts. Because I can tell you I'm never going to let my client down with having a card failure, and then I can't submit them their images. Uh, but that's all for now, guys. I'll see you all uh, soon for the next video. Bye for now.